Uh, you know, the sole remaining domestic producer of grain and electric steel is in my hometown of Butler, Pennsylvania, and it's represented by 1,300 union workers from UAW 3303, which my colleague has always referenced to. I should have been in Butler with me when almost 500 of them showed up uh, to protest what was happening with the elimination of grain, ore, and electric steel. Now, this rule threatens the long-term viability of the mill. The mill in Butler produces grain, ore, and electric steel for distribution transformers. And I brought a picture of it because most people don't know what we're talking about. If you're driving down the road and you see a telephone pole with this gray canister on it, that is a distribution transformer. And inside of it is a product called grain, ore, and electric steel. That, that, uh, that product, by the way, works at 98% efficiency. Now, the other side would like to replace it with something called amorphous steel. Uh, which, if you compare the two, one is actually steel. Gray and ore electric steel is actually steel. Amorphous looks like tinfoil. Uh, so our product's 98% efficient. If you transfer it over uh, to amorphous steel, you're looking at a load capacity of 80%, which is dangerous, while a traditional GOES transformer can run with a 120% load capacity. Now, the market for these transformers is at an all-time high. Why in the world would we go away from something that is domestically produced in Butler, Pennsylvania for a product that is not produced in America, cannot serve the needs that are there, cannot meet the market demands for some type of a wrong-headed idea that, no, we must go with this new product? Fact versus fiction. This transformer with grain, ore, and electric steel, domestic steel produced in Butler, Pennsylvania by 1,300 union workers with another seven times the jobs that have been in my hometown. The elimination of this product would eliminate that town. Have we not learned enough over the years that when we turn away from domestic produced product and rely on a foreign source for it that somehow at the end we don't have the product and the capacity that we need? Dumb-headed rule after dumb-headed rule in some type of a makeup fantasy world that somehow this is better. It's not better. It's not better. 